All right, everyone, welcome back to some more Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Now, this character is the Baraki Hunter that we were talking about. But before we start, um, let me just pull my earphones out. Uh, let me just talk a bit about the channel and all that stuff. I mean, thinking a little bit about how to change up the structure of the videos, just because, you know, after doing about, like, 300 of these, I'm starting to just feel like I want to be a bit more liberal with the way that the structure of things works, so I'm probably going to be doing like a little bit of a chat at the beginning of each video rather than having them kind of crammed in at the end, but uh, you know, it's kind of just difficult for me to, I don't know, like I've been, I, I want to try to experiment over the next couple of days or weeks about uh, the way the structure of the channel works and just everything, because I don't know, frankly, things are okay, but um, I don't know, I just don't feel satisfied with the way that these videos have been coming out, mostly because of the, uh, the mic quality, but um, among other things, uh, one of the people that helped me out uh, with this like idea is uh, Blue Scion, who uh, you guys have seen on the channel before. She's uh, she did the Deep of Conjure tutorial with uh, with me, but she never got to finish it because we're going to be doing a different set of series. But essentially, rather than having the channel updates um, every so often, I want to kind of have like a short like little talk before start of these videos just because it gets a little bit um it, it does get a little bit weird sometimes and I don't focus on the game enough um when I'm actually playing so it's a little bit you know things change a little bit and uh like I just don't get to cover everything I want to talk about so like I'll probably spend a couple of minutes every uh beginning of each video talking about stuff rather than having um just like it happens throughout the entire video I think that's just a little bit uh, more efficient, I guess, because, you know, I, I won't have to, like I said, uh, forego the topics that I want to talk about in the game to talk about stuff that's just not related to the story at all. Oh, sorry, not to the story, to the game. Um, but yeah, essentially this character is a pretty generic one um, right now, but we're hoping that by the time uh, I get finesse, this character is going to go bonkers, um, just because I'll be able to... Pretty much just machine gun down everything before it gets to me uh, because of the extra uh, distance. Having full screen here is pretty exciting because um, it basically gives you two extra turns. If you're shooting at really fast speeds with uh, finesse, it pretty much gives you two extra turns to shoot at every enemy on the screen or any single target enemy. So against single target, uh, single enemies, we should be doing insane amounts of damage, which is really cool. Uh, that's Tidget's Ghost. <clears throat> that's 104 HP. Uh, up for 30 damage. Troll Monk. Okay. So we probably can't fight him just yet. We might have to Heroism Finesse. Maybe even might. Um, for now, though, we'll just kind of back off. Uh, there are Spiny, there's a Spiny Toad and a Yak there. So I'm just going to Heroism preemptively. And even with Heroism, we lose more than half our HP. So that was pretty scary. Um, Oh, that's right. We are we're slowed. I forgot about that. Uh, let's heal one more time. Jesus Christ! All right, this didn't work at all. Uh, this is very unfortunate for us. Hmm. Let's find our gales here. Get the get the yak out of our sorry the swine toad out of our way. Uh, confusion maybe? No. Okay. Well, we can just back off like this. Heroism here shoot everyone um, from far away, I guess, while heroism. That was pretty rough. That does kind of show that our character is a little bit weak, but it also does... It's mostly because I forgot that we were slow. This character is... Uh... Also, I didn't realize that there's a red buckle on my tile. I don't... What, what are we wearing? Plate armor. Huh. It's pretty interesting. Anyway, we should be walking around with our uh, crossbow out. That's Tidget's ghost. Uh, and we are far away from the place as well. This is rough. Let's heroism here and uh Okay, this isn't gonna work. Um <clears throat> uh, let's just hop in this direction. We need to do a little bit more damage to him. Just a bit more damage. Alright, there we go. Well that was fine. Like I was kinda worried there because the first couple of hits were just doing nothing. Um so I was just getting a teensy bit worried, but that's okay. So with our slow with our slowness we should be relying mostly on <clears throat> range combat. But because we don't have too many uh 
we don't have an amazing amount of uh, bolts. We really can't afford to do that. Like, we're already down to, like, what, 12? Oh, thank God. Aquara just decides to give us bolts at the last second. So Aquara, uh, another reason why I picked him is because we want some bolts, and I wasn't really sure if we were going to get any. So, you know, picking bolts, uh, picking up Bolt God, either Aquara or uh, Trog works. This is another rough thing. Jeez, look at that. Like, we have to spend so much time doing that. Oh my god, Aquara gives us so many gifts. That's insane. Uh, let's Heroism here. Make sure the Spine Toe doesn't kill us. We don't have Arpoids, so it's a bit scary. Um, <clears throat> what was I saying? Yeah, so, picked Aquara for the bolts because, you know, need bolts to do this properly. I would have picked another god, but I also kind of want this, uh, kind of want Aquara because I need, uh, bolts. Like, guaranteed, because unlike most characters where I'm gonna switch to my melee eventually, I want this one to kinda go towards the, uh, the range side more. Like, I know this is a great weapon and all, but, like, it kinda defeats the purpose if I go, uh, just with the long blades, right? Um, so I, I wanna, like, have the long blades be the, not the major point, I guess, of this character, even though it pretty much is, like, um, right now it is anyway, because, you know, just, I have no great weapon, uh, no bolts. Actually, are there any other crossbows? No. Okay. Because like I, I'm so used to just turning them down that like one of them could have dropped and I just wouldn't notice at all. This is a pretty awkward spot for me to be in, but it's okay. We'll just switch to the weapon. That's why it's there. When we're in melee, we should be using this weapon because it is superior anyway in terms of damage. Ah, uh, where's that enemy? Okay, it's over there. Like this extra range hasn't really shown its its stuff yet, so I'm pretty uh pretty excited to see what's gonna Oh Scroll of Acquirement. That's gonna go on Ooh man. That's actually really rough. I could go for a crossbow. Like I could try for a crossbow, but I'll probably get a sword. Uh this is painful. How? Uh or I could go for armor and it'll give me like pretty much whatever I want. But it'll probably give me gloves, so I'll, I'll go for a weapon. Glowing triple sword. Glowing triple sword slicing. So this is 24 Mindalay. Oh my god. Um, that's actually quite possible with this character. I kind of want to get two massive weapons up, but... Um, oh my god, a glowing longsword. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's really weird to see these items and actually be able to use them. Uh, speed. Speed is a really good brand, but I don't think it's as good as a plus 8 Venom. Uh, the, it's probably just not going to do as much damage, so it's not as good. The triple sword of slicing is probably too expensive for this character to run. Um, let me check what the triple crossbow is. Is it a two-hander? Yeah, it is. Okay, so ideally we don't use this triple sword, but maybe we do. I don't know. This is a really interesting uh, character, because unlike most characters that I'm running, this one's not going for the, I guess like optimal stuff in terms of uh pathing it's it's going more for like what's the goal of this character i guess it's just trying to fulfill a single image rather than going for like what's the best possible way to use my exp but i don't at the same time i don't want to like waste time and have like 50 tries of this to try to get one suboptimal thing to work i'd rather just get this character done because i do want to make an evaluative judgment i suppose at the end of this uh Damn, look at that line of sight. Like, that is insane. Like, it, it doesn't, it's not too noticeable all the time, but when, when you see like a Komodo dragon do that, like, uh, that far away, it's pretty cool. Like, look how far the bolt shoots. Because, unlike spells, these, uh, the ranged weapon is basically like, whatever's on the screen, you can shoot at. Um, so if you increase your range by one, you can shoot further than, uh, further by one tile, so it's pretty interesting. Um, I like that, actually. It's pretty cool. Like, it would be really stupid if you could, like, only shoot at the same range as, ever, uh, as like, regular characters. That'd be kind of sad. But this character, yeah. I get a free range. Oh, come on, man. Can you, can you get out of there? Can you get out of that deep water? There we go. Oh, that wasn't deep water. That was just shadow water. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, like I said, I, I feel like there is a downside to the light, larger line of sight, um, somewhat. You do tend to be in a bit more of a scary position sometimes, but I'm hoping that it just doesn't matter for this character too much, because we're ranged. We should be at the same advantage as everyone else. 
Uh, this is kind of rough. Okay, well, this, the scimitar flaming makes this a lot less painful, which is nice. Ow, okay. I actually need to have this scimitar on B, because I switch to the scimitar flaming, and then I switch back using... Whoa, that's a pretty good mace, damn. Um, and I switch back using the uh, uh, apostrophe button, so it switches to A. Ow, steam dragons hurt a lot, surprisingly. Like, ah, oh, this is pretty bad, actually. Uh, okay, the hop didn't do as much as I hoped it would, but that's okay. We just needed to get, holy crap, that's a lot of damage. How much damage can this thing do? It doesn't say, like, that's one thing that's kind of weird. Um, oh, no, please don't. Okay, we need to back off over here. Okay, well, whatever. We'll just hear it with this. Oh, God, that's why we don't want to fight. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, man. Come on, man. This is just stupid. Like, I, I'm not stealthy, yeah, but I shouldn't be drawing the attention of, like, every enemy on the floor. Like, look at this. This is insane. What? I'm resting in the corner. The actual corner of the map. I don't want to rest up there because there's too much water. I don't want to get there at low health and then just be, like, slowed because of the water. It'd be a bit of an issue. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Like, there was a good chance that this, uh, character just gets surrounded a lot, but I'm hoping that's just not the case. Uh, we're just gonna have to use a bit more line of sight restricting material. And also, these steam dragons just hurt. I don't know why they hurt so much, but damn, they suck. Wait, we can swim? Oh. Huh. Oh, it's, oh, but it's, it's, Oh, it's the same speed. I was like, oh, we're slowed by the water, but no, we just move at 1.2 speed generally. Forgot about that. This character, I... Oh, my God. Stop! Let's use invisibility here. Just to prevent it from just shooting a billion breath attacks at me, because it's really annoying. Uh, Just blast them. Why are there so many of them? All right, let's go upstairs. Well, let's go to the upstairs. Heal up. Wow, those two bolts mulched instantly. That really is sad. <laughs> Thankfully, though, Okawaru has started to just provide, like, a ton of bolts, so we shouldn't be too afraid to just burn through our whole amount once we go with Oka. Uh, or once Okawaru decides that, you know, it's our time. So this is pretty good. Um, we're starting to get into pretty good shape, I think. We're stabilizing for sure. It's just a matter of, like, are we going to get destroyed by something insane, or... It, it's unlikely, because we have scrolls of teleport now. Should be alright. Alright, let's just keep going. Oh god, Dream Sheep. These things are real pain in the ass. Uh, this is a very big worry now. Ow. Ow. Alright, there we go. I had to try to like restrict the amount of times that could hit me, but it was not very easy. Man, Aquar has given us a lot of bolts. This is not gonna get like I really hope we stick with bolts, cause the worst thing in the world is when you go a like a semi ranged build, or even with like ten throwing, or, like five throwing, and then just for some weird reason, like you switch over to melee, though you should. That's a fire dragon. Oh shit. Uh let's teleport here. And also hop, so we just don't stay in melee with that. That was insane, okay. There was no rune door, nothing. Like, there was just a fire dragon. Holy moly, okay. I guess that's just fair. Whoa. Anyway, um, let's go over here to the downstairs. We should start IDing some stuff, yeah. I forgot that I had those. Hey, hey. Uh, ID the wand of ding, I guess. Enchant armor probably doesn't need to go on anything, but I'll put one on the boots. Enchant weapon. I don't really want to put on the crossbow because I'm assuming I'm going to get something better. All right, this is a second requirement scroll or a third requirement. Oh, someone messaged me. Is this run currently going on? Yes, yes it is. Um, the requirement I kind of want to put on armor now because I don't know. I've already tried to get it on. Ah, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Like, no, you know what? I'll, I'll put it on weapon again. I really want to have. Stop! Give me something good. For that's a really good weapon. That's a really good weapon. I just don't want to use it right now. 
Um, yeah, look, I don't know. Damn it. I was hoping to get a cool obelisk or something. Just to, like, have the... I mean, that's a really cool weapon. Slicing weapon, plus nine. Halberd's okay. RF plus. Pretty good. All around. Okay, well, that jumping spider just decided to not play the game. Uh, let's heroism finesse here. I really hope we can just not fight these guys. Oh my god, this is the perfect scenario. Look at this. Yes! <laughs> yes! Everything's so far away and I can just shoot it from a billion miles away. Oh my god. We're an actual sniper rifle, except we have, like, tons of bullets and we have a really fast rip. Wait, what? What's everyone doing over here? Why are there so many of you? Holy shit, dude. Why is it like this? My god. Uh, alright, well. I figured out why there's so many steam dragons. Apparently there's just like a billion of them. They just don't care. That was like, oh my god, that was insane. Three three rhyme drakes and two steam drag, uh, drakes as well. I really shouldn't be here because the fire dragon's gonna be there. Um, but I want to clear some of these pricks out because it's really not good for us. There he is. Ah, shit. Uh, we don't have any RF, do we? I don't think we do. This is a very unfortunate outcome for me. Ah, uh, oh, man. All right, let's get a box of beasts with us just so that. When we are petrified, the beast will kill the basilisk. All right, look at that. Look at that range, though. That's that's not bad. It's not bad. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. Like this is probably not the right way to play Brackens, but it's pretty fun. I mean, I think like I'm just abusing the like this is the only mechanic I can think of that's full screen, um, regardless of where your screen is or how big your screen is. Like because at least like with with oh my god, please stop. With other stuff like um, magic, they have actual like ranges, whereas the throwing mechanic and the range mechanic just generally doesn't have one. So it's pretty good. Ooh, a cloak plus two AC. I like it. Um, I think this current setup is okay. We don't really need to worry about getting more crossbows yet. We don't have another crossbow. Like I don't think it's right to worry about having a second uh having like more crossbow training if I don't have a crossbow to actually train it up with. But hey, speak of the devil, there's an obelisk. There we go. Holy crap. This thing has an 18 skill that oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Okay, uh let's turn dodging off for now and decrease fighting and train crossbows, I guess. Ugh God. Fine, we'll use this. This shoots so slow, holy shit. Okay. Um Let's use Heroism Finesse here. It shoots at 0.6 with, with Finesse, so it's shooting pretty badly. Uh, but the damage should be a lot higher, right? This thing shoots with... Oh, base damage of 18 compared to the base damage of 12. So it's 6 extra base damage. It's not bad. I don't know if it's actually better, though. This thing still shoots at 1.0, so... Eh... That actually is probably better. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter. It uh, Whatever. We just won't worry about it. Just reminds me how bad these things suck. Like, obelisks are just not good. Two-handed weapons, man. Like, the base damage is pretty good, though, I guess. Ah, uh, this thing's... This is very bad for this character. Like, just open places in general. With multiple enemies. Look at that one turn. Holy crap, that was scary. All 1.5 turns. I might actually just have to skip less 6 altogether, if this is the case. If they want to play like this, this actually might have to... Oh my god. Is there any way I can like aim it like this and then just get a ridiculous fan? Wow. Yeah, look at that. This does nothing though. That's very unfortunate. Okay, well with Heroism Finesse and this insane weapon we should be okay to deal with the majority of these enemies. Yeah, look at that. That's beautiful right there. Man, Aquawar is such a good god. Like, I know I'm using him Improperly, because I'm not playing as the melee character. That's how you should be playing. Look at that, two gifts in, in one in one fight. We haven't even finished the fight yet. We already have another gift. My god. Uh, we need to go upstairs here. We don't want to... It doesn't matter if we have a flaming weapon. We don't want to be near the Hydra when he's at... When we're at half health. It doesn't... Just generally, like, it's not a good idea. 
Oh, he's blocking the staircase. The prick. Scops doesn't heal again. Pow pow. Armor skill is level 8. It's heroism here. Ah, oh, that's a tyrant leech. Um, I really want to just kill this eel, but he's just dodging everything somehow, even though he's an eel. Uh, let's hold on to the uh, scimitar of flaming. Okay, apparently not. Let's just heroism finesse here, because we aren't our poise, so we actually are pretty scared of these spider toads. They can do a lot of damage to us. So the finesse is there to just make sure that we're killing them as quickly as possible. We do not want to accidentally just get poisoned to death. That would suck. Alright, here's a Tyrant Leech. Probably didn't need a switch there, but... Oh my god, okay, well... That's unfortunate. Uh, Let's just hop over here. Literally. And he walks into the one blind tile we have. Damn it. Uh, wait, do we kill him? Oh, we killed him. That's nice. Very nice. Where's the other downstairs? It's over there. Right, I'm too lazy to go over there. Come on, Eel, just die. Uh, let's just shoot this guy from a billion miles away. It's so sad that the weapon is just like <laughs> ten times better, but hey, you know, no judge. We're we're a ranger guy. We're, we're still trying. We're role playing as a ranger guy, even though it's significantly worse than just having this melee weapon, because this melee weapon's pretty good. I mean, to be fair, this one doesn't have a brand. This uh, arbalist, nor does it have any slaying or anything attached to it, so it's kind of poop. Uh, it's not fair to say the arbalist is crap right now, but I mean, in like like five floors time when we have it at almost mid delay, and it still sucks. We can probably say it sucks. All right, this is a very rough situation for us to be in, but okay. Look at that Lair 6 loot, man. That's so bad. <laughs> One thing that I really wish happened in this game was that the Lair loot was a lot better. Right now it just is terrible. Just really sucks. Uh, let's hop over here where the water, where the Hydra can't be in the water. If they're in the water, they're a lot more dangerous, I think, because they move faster. And movement is kind of like attack speed in this game as well. I think. I don't know. I, I would have no idea. All I know is that they'll get more damage on you. Um, if they're in the water. Or at least you can't run away. I don't know, one of the two. Not sure how that works, actually. Now, we actually cleared that lake, though. That's pretty good. wasn't expecting it to be that easy. I've had speedruns that just collapse there instantly. Yeah, these, like, look at this. This melee weapon is so badass. <laughs> Stupid scimitar, man. It's just so good compared to this obelisk. Though I say that, but the obelisk is pretty good if, if the enemies are at full screen. It's like insanely good. It kills enemies before you take any damage. Not the Komodo dragon, though. Ooh. Aww. I'm hoping that he gives me something that's... Oh, gift. Hoping he gives me something that's actually, like, good. But it seems like that might be a bit far-fetched. I wonder if I should just fight this dragon. Well, don't have a choice now. I guess we did it. That could have been extremely bad. Um, horribly bad, actually. Like, disaster. Actually, wait, there's a... I forgot that I killed the dragon, so I, don't, I can actually go into the like little loot pouch here. Shimmering scale now. Fly, RF, iron. No, I'm alright, thanks. 1714. Yeah, this is significantly worse. Alright, cool. Let's go back to up to layer 1 and drop some of the useless stuff. Probably don't need the crossbow. The buckler is probably unlikely to use again because, um, like I said, we're going to go into the uh, the two-hander line because obelisks are two-handed. But, you know, it was nice. I mean, I honestly don't know why crossbows are so, like, poop in this game. But, you know, it's unfortunate. We'll just, we'll, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Range is just not as good. But it's still fine. It's just, I don't know. Melee is just so much easier. Look at this. Like, it's just tap, 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 tap. Everything's dead. With Obelisk, you're just like, ah, oh, maybe I'll tab and maybe it works. I hope it works. Like, uh, but it is pretty good. It's, especially with this range. We just get to, like, blast stuff from, like, a billion miles away. Like, that ogre, we got an extra hit off. Um, 
This centaur, we got an extra hit off. This one we didn't. This double-headed ogre, that's fine. Oh man, Okawara is giving us bolts. Oh god. He's never going to stop giving us bolts, even if we never use melee, uh, even if we never use ranged again, so. This is the next hour and a half of our lives. Hey, another triple sword, wow. It's pretty rare. Like I said, can't afford to use a triple sword. Probably can afford to use, like, a great sword, but maybe not a triple sword. Though it's only a four skill difference, it's fairly heavy investment. Oh, man. This is, uh, unfortunate. Okay. Ow. Alright. I see how it is. Even with heroism, we aren't at min delay for this weapon yet. It's pretty crazy. It's a bit unfortunate, but hey, whatever. We'll just shoot down the line. This thing also has min, de min delay 1. Maybe it just doesn't... Like, that's also probably a reason why it's not good. Just because you can't get it below min delay. Uh, sorry, you can't get it below 1 delay. Which means it's only you're only getting one shot a turn. But maybe, like... Like, because weapons you can get, like, usually about two or three every... You can get, like, a basically free hit every couple of turns, which is uh, which is pretty good, but with this one I'm only shooting one per turn no matter what. Uh, unless I finesse, then it goes down to 0.5. But, look, if you're going to compare finesse with finesse... Uh, if you're going to compare finesse range with regular mail, it's not fair, right? You'd have to compare it with finesse melee, which is a lot... which is an entirely different thing, and it's arguably better, because you get so many hits in. Uh, dex, why not? Sure. Great sword. Um, I guess we'll look at it. It's plus three. That's not bad. We'll probably never use it, but yeah, we could pretend. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Not very insane stuff, but stuff nonetheless. The acid dragon is a little bit scary. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. All right, we're just gonna play fire down the line with this whole set of enemies. Come on, guys. Come on. Alright. Unfortunately, we can't abuse our line of sight here. Oh, we can with the mosquitoes, actually. And the stuff coming in from the other side. Which is kind of cool. Oh my god, this is actually pretty cool. Uh, ooh, a quick blade. Um, that's actually not a bad weapon for this character. It's plus four and nothing, though. It's kind of worthless. I was going to say, it was like electrocution. It's not actually a bad side weapon. Probably not as good as this weapon, though, to be fair. Uh, this, uh, Scimitar Archer. Heh, <laughs> Archer. Because I'm an Archer. Get it? A. But, eh. Crossbows. Ugh. Ugh. You know what I mean? Maybe that, like, maybe they should just make crossbows a di like, have a different mechanic altogether. Like, have it so that you can like shoot a crossbow for like zero cost or something like like instantly shoot an arrow um and then you have to recharge it or something i don't know like it just doesn't seem like um like crossbows are just basically like worse bows right and bows aren't even that good like yeah they're slower versions with higher damage it's, it's like the same thing it's the same weapon effectively there's no real difference between a bow and a crossbow I don't really know what the point of a crossbow is actually. Slime room is on. Hey, that's a free treasure trove if we go into slime, which we might. I don't really know what the third rune option for a character like this would be. Slime seems okay, but it's not insane. Okay. Shapeshifter. Thank you. Hmm. I don't know. Line of sight doesn't really help with any of the third runes. Uh, Abyss is actually, it's worse to have. I'm assuming it's worse to have extra line of sight. Just because, you know, you wouldn't want to... Um, you just don't want to see stuff in the Abyss, other than the Rune Vault, right? You just want to get it done, leave as quick as possible. Uh, this is a bit scary. Okay. Just let everything die over there. Ooh. Any plate armors? No? Alright, cool. That's fine. I'm not sad about it. Oh, Francis. Whoa. Isn't she pretty strong right now? Let's heroism finesse here. Just blast her down as quick as we can. 
if that's even possible. Alright, we managed to blast her down. Uh, let's hop over here, stand on the staircase, just kind of shoot away while we have heroism and finesse. I want to shoot Azrael mostly. He's pretty squishy, but he does a lot of damage. Like, you'd be surprised how much damage he does. Alright. Just chilling out, taking it slow, making sure I don't take an insane amount of damage, but looks like we're doing pretty good because of our fairly decent defense and the fact that we just had heroes and finesse. So like that while that looks like it took a ton of time, it actually didn't take too much time at all. Plus zero scimitar flaming. Wow, we actually somehow managed to get a worse weapon than the one we were using. That's interesting. Cancellation, Guardian Spirit. Eh, Guardian Spirit's okay, but it's not that good. And also it might lock us out of Heroes and Finesse, which might suck. Um, not a huge seminar, uh, not a huge thing, but no, no, two shields are okay. It's not horrible. Man, Aquar still hasn't gifted us any non-bolt gift. That sucks. Alright, we're just having a firefight out here. This is like uh, the ending of John Wick. Or just any of the John Wick scenes. That was a lot of damage. Um, I bid farewell to you, my friend. I leave now. Jesus, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> uh, Harrison Finesse. Okay, well, there's a prick in the way, so I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna deal with this childish nonsense. If you wanna hide behind your summons, do what you want, but I'm not gonna be a part of this, this heinous behavior. Like, come on, you you wanna you wanna engage me in a fight and then you hide behind your own goons? Like, come on, that's not cool, man. This is gonna hurt. Holy shit, this guy hurts so much. Uh, do we have a resistance potion? Yes, we do. I'm just gonna put that on real quick because that hurt like the Dickens. Like that ice shot was very high power. Um, probably because it's a deep elf. That makes sense. Oh, we got shafted. That's a bit unfortunate. This confusion wand is gonna go. There's no real point in recharging it, honestly. It's not very high value. Though we do have, eh, like it's not that high value. I don't think it's worth it. Even though there's really not that much to be, uh, what do you call it? Recharge these days. I still prefer it, uh, not to waste them if I don't need them. Alright, well, there's that heal wounds again. As you can see, I play a little bit more, like, I guess, uh, I'm a bit more loose with my consumable usage these days. I notice that I just, like, don't care if I have no consumables anymore. It just doesn't matter. Really. So just, just use them if you need them. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, that Ice Dragon armor looks cool, but it's RF minus, so it's kind of worthless. Uh, Scale Mail of Poison Resistance. Now we have... Spider and Swamp. Swamp was most likely going to give us Swamp Dragon armor, so it's very unlikely that we actually need the scale mail. Um, but this chain mail is not good. Uh, the Ice Dragon, like I said, it's cool, but RF minus is often a crutch that characters can't get over. Uh, can't get over. Not a crutch, a uh, hurdle. Just because it's like it's too hard to get a a good amount of like RF plus. Like, if you want RF triple plus, you need four pips of RF, which is insane. Like, that's a huge requirement, so... just doesn't seem like that. Ooh, boots. New shoes for me? Hey, I got some sneakers. <laughs> it's funny. Laugh. I don't hear you laughing. What's going on? You're not laughing. Come on, man. Laugh. Live, live a little, you know? Live a little. Have a bit of a love in your life. I got some sneakers, because their boots are stealth. They make me sneak. Ah, shit. That's a bunch of guys that I don't want to deal with. You, specifically, Mr. Uh, whatever the hell your name is. Uh, Orc Wallard boy. Get out of here. He only got an enchanted great sword. I thought that was actually Brandon. That would have been cool if it was Brandon. I should have waited for my hop to recharge, but that's fine. This works. I should just be melee, honestly. I should just... Ah, oh, I just need to be melee. Like, why am I even bothering with the range crap? <laughs> it's not even necessary. This this guy just cuts everyone up. 
before. Oh, that's an end. I just realized that it's. Uh, how about we go up here? Nope. Oh, well, where are we going? Over here. Oh, that's a very unfortunate setup for us. Okay, well that works. And this hop takes ages to recover. That's fine though. Are we, do we get any crossbow, <laughs> please? No, damn it. Guys, come on. I have three enchant weapon scrolls. Let me just put it on something cool. Yeah? Let's not, let's not waste my time here, yeah? Let's get some good weapons. I've acquired three weapons now. I mean, admittedly, this one was really good. This, uh, this here scimitar. Wait. Oh, wait, no. This one. Did I acquire it? No, I bought it in a shop. Oh, okay. I didn't even acquire that one. What the hell did I acquire then? How? Why am I losing half my health to an enemy that's like shooting the same stuff to me, but worse? Oh, that's a. That's a netton. Let's go over here. Let's blast away at him. Yeah, this range is pretty good. Oh, of course. We opened a door we should not have, but that's fine. They're just cyclopses at the end of the day. This thing's hurt though. Jesus. But as a hero, we don't back away from these miscreants. These hooligans. Alright, that's some gold. I'll take some gold. Yeah. There's probably Ettons in here. I'll just pull back a little bit. Let them all come to us. Maybe shout here and there just to draw some attention to us. Haha, you can't get past the moat. Oh. Cyclopses, ow. Stop shooting at me, dude. <laughs> I say as I shoot them. Alright, nothing in here. Whole bunch of stuff over there. Bunch of ogres. Oh my god. Oh, that's a frost giant. Okay, this is a bit scary now. But we heroism finesse now, so we're okay, mostly. Ooh, another great sword. I hope it's something good. I hope it's enchanted. That'd be nice. Uh, great sword of slicing. Okay, that's uh, I'll accept that. Oh, it's plus six too. That's pretty good. All right, I guess we'll hold on to that. Vampiric war axe, man. Or as I like to call it, the Volts Five. Oh, the singing sword. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Uh, this is not a good we this is not a good weapon at all. Holy shit, this sucks. <laughs> this weapon sucks so bad. Oh man, it's literally just like a plus seven sort of nothing. Like it's just worthless. Nah, fuck this weapon. It doesn't even have like a brand. It just sucks. Pretty sure. Unless there's like something. But that tile looks so damn cool. I have a thing for like uh, those like divoted swords. Oh, divoted? I don't know. Those like swords with like a with a little groove in it. It's pretty cool. I like those swords. Like, I don't know. They look nice. Uh, distance sword. We'll probably do the Minotaur Lair and then we'll finish off here because I'm still in the middle of my study period, guys. I should not be doing these recordings so long. But, you know me. Always bad at managing time. Alright, let's go into the Minotaur's Labyrinth. Shall we? I, I wonder if there's like a sick bug that I can like Aw, oh, damn. That would be cool if I could just, like, kind of bug my way through walls. It'd be funny. Um, but no. Unfortunately, the game is actually kind of robust in that regard. The bugs don't happen too often, so. Feels good, man. Ah, oh, dead end. Alright. It's unfortunate. But, thankfully, this ding wand makes this whole place a lot more bearable, because you don't have to worry about any of the stone crap. Um, you can just go straight into this orange level. It effectively guarantees that you're only going to be looking at orange stuff. You don't have to ever worry about uh, just regular rock. Having said that, though, this is goddamn annoying sometimes when it just like takes you super far out. I'm trying to like push upwards to the uh, to the right because I know where that's where the uh, the black tiles are. This is definitely the uh, Minotaur's area. There he is. Um, I know it's the Minotaur's area because it's a square. Like it's the only place. Oh my god, we got a lot of stuff. A lot of rings. Uh, but we want to ID at least this amulet first. Reflect RC minus, but it's got shield plus two and RLAC. 
that is the ring of phasing. Okay, well, we are using that. Uh, that is for sure. Anything else we want here? No, not really. Let's go upstairs so we can try all these at our uh, at our own whim. So the ring of Shaolin, uh, or the ring of phasing nowadays, it's pretty good. This is a fire ring with electricity. Plus three protection is really good. Magical power sucks. We'll just drop that real quick. Poison resistance is good. Um, we don't really need it if we have a different. Uh, if we already have like swamp dragon armor, we don't need that. But you know, it's still nice. Arc road, I'll keep on me just because this plate armor is not going to be on forever. The ring of phasing definitely has to stay on though, and that's going to be permanent. So I'm just going to go ahead and equals R, which means equals shift R will mean that. Uh, it'll just never be up for contention to automatically swap out, so I can like hot swap with one button now, which is really nice. Uh, so I think this plus three protection, plus eight evade is going to be like the setup choice, and then I'll adjust my stuff to suit. No RC means that this amulet is not going to work effectively. It's not even that good. It's just RLEC on top of what I have for RC plus, so I'll just drop that. Uh, but I think the Ring of Poison Resistance will stay on whenever I have Poison Resistance issues. Uh, but yeah, other than that, should be okay. Oh, I said I'd finish the video. Oh, uh, no, we'll, we'll, we'll do like an extra two minutes to just finish. Or two. What are you doing? Why are you doing so much damage to me? He had a robe and he's like just sitting there, standing, watching my fucking scimitar go in. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. We need to hop our way out of there. Real quick. So here we're going to just abuse the line of sight thing. Um, we have a nice firing galley, I guess. Enemies will walk in, get shot, walk, and I just like to stand there and keep shooting. This extra range is like actually fairly helpful. Uh, it's not like insane, but it does give you an extra shot every single time you find an enemy at full screen. Which is not bad. Like, I think it's severely... Um, oh my god. That's un that was unfortunate. I got paralyzed the second I saw the guy, but because of that extra turn, like he just didn't do anything. Oh god! Please stop. Very difficult for me. Okay, we got a gift. It's just more bolts. It's fine. It's starting to get a pretty hefty uh, surplus of bolts, which is nice. Um, even though we are just like spamming heroes and finesse, still getting a ton of gifts, which is good. Keep shooting. Shoot him. There we go. Nice. Like we can actually become like a ranged like character. It's it's as if we're melee ranged, if that makes sense. Yeah, if we heroes and finesse, we have the ranged. Damage and the range, uh, the range like ability, but we have melee Mindalay, which is really good. I don't know. It's really hard to say what you could do to balance range, but all I know is that it sucks right now. Um, this is not good. Uh, what do we get there? Nothing. Just bolts. Okay. Like it's either got to increase. Like the Mindalay kind of hurts. The training requirements hurt for how much. Uh, for the fact that everything's two-handed all the time. This really sucks. Um, this is very unfortunate. Let's just hop there. Hmm, this is not good. Uh, let's just... I don't want to waste my haste, but I kind of have to, I think. Yeah, let's just haste here. Yeah, it was a good idea to haste. No, we actually have to blink too. I don't want to, like, just die for no reason. That was pretty rough. The Sun Demon hurts. Um, yeah, just the Sun Demon hurt. And I had a lot of smiters on me that I couldn't kill. And the blue guy was just doing a lot of smite damage as well. Like, it was just a set of unfortunate coincidences that happened to line me up into a bad spot. Like, it shouldn't have happened like that, but, you know, that's the, how the game works sometimes. Variance in combat means that sometimes situations are really bad. You just gotta reset them. Probably should have teleported, but I don't know. At this point, I've I I prefer to use tell I prefer teleport to uh to haste just just for the time being. Uh, anything good here? Cold protection is pretty good, I guess, but we don't really need that right now. Um, anything over here? 
Ring mail, nah. Uh, trident, nah. But we do have a brand weapon scroll. We'll put that on the obelisk. All right, it's venom. That's fine. Probably don't want to enchant this one, but Venoms are an alright brand, I guess. Are there, there's more of you? Holy crap, dude. That, this Orc 1 was like insanely big. Oh my god, please. Like, how how much is in this place? This place was insane. Like, that was one Cyclops. I fought like 15 of those guys. Alright, I need to, I need to stop the video here, guys. I really need to stop the video. Damn it. I really want to just keep playing, but I'm too lazy. I got work to do, but I'm not doing the work. I'm stressing out, guys. I'm stressing real hard. Oh. But it's I'm worried because like there's a calm that's over me. It's like you're just gonna fail and it's gonna be fine. I don't want that to happen, guys. Come on, man. Anyway, let's end the video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow.